What is active versus passive investing? So you know that the index represents the market of the largest stocks by market capitalization, either in your country or that segment or that sector. And you know that you pool your money in a mutual fund, which a fund manager manages. Now, let's explain. Most mutual funds you see advertised are active funds. The fund manager has to think hard to come up with an investment philosophy about which parts of the markets are inefficient and then a style and process of how his team picks stocks to be able to produce higher returns than the index. Of course, the team has to get paid. Marketing costs money too. And then there's a commission to the distributor for helping to select the fund. These fees and expenses add up to a relatively high expense ratio built into the fund structure. As an investor, you have to now study if the active funds can add value, when they do or don't add value, and then whether you can pick these funds in advance. Now, in normal circumstances, good economic growth leads to good stock market growth captured by the market indices. So you can invest in an index fund which aims to match the index returns. This is also called passive investing because a fund manager doesn't have to do any research but simply buy the same stocks in the same proportion as the index or figure another way to get the same return. Either way, index funds aim to get the same return as the index. Now here's the thing, both the index and the active funds aim to achieve their respective performance targets relative to the index return. That does not mean that they actually achieve it. Watch out for the video on how to measure the fund's performance.